Welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can be Lordy, and today we're playing Battleborn. Unfortunately, I came a little bit late since I had to do something else before coming here, but it's all right. It's all right. We're just a minute late, but we can still make magic happen in this game. What we're going to try to do is collect shards and get something going for our team. That's always been the goal. Um, today we're playing Marquis on the map Overgrowth on the game mode Incursion. So this should be very interesting. Are we lagging? I feel like we could be, but we shall see very soon. First, let's try to kill this guy here. Maybe not. I don't think we're lagging. Let's put an L there. Where'd he go? So, oh, that was a fail, but I think... No, we got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. KO boys. First blood. Even a minute late, and we still make magic happen. That disrespect level is high in right now. Oh my god. This character is pretty sick. I love the concept. I love how it works. I should go through his abilities before we keep on going and going ham on this enemy team. Um, let's see what his abilities are. First, let's get a level 1 upgrade. Our level 1 upgrade is going to be the right one since that gives us 30% movement speed for us and our allies when we're using one of our abilities. So let's go through these abilities. He has one ability called Temporal Distortion, which is an ability that he puts in a position that lasts for 6 seconds, slowing down all enemies. And now since we upgraded it, it will also increase our movement speed. His other one is called Preta Strike, which is like an owl like this that goes in a location. Then once he reaches a enemy, it will do some damage and reveal him as well. Then, we're going to slap him. Look at that slap. Oh, yeah, slap, boys. Okay. And it will reveal, like, their location and also detonate on them and doing, like, an explosion type of thing. So, that's pretty cool. Can we kill this? We need... Wait. Why is my sensitivity is too slow? Quick scope, boys. There we go. KO again. Let's taunt. Disrespect, boys. <laughs> you got to love this. You guys love the Battleborn content that I put out last time in beta, so that's why we're playing it today when it's in full release. And what an amazing feeling it is to bring this game to my channel. Can we kill this thrall? Let's reload. And then also, unique thing about this hero, his um, weapon is a pistol and sniper. Let's get this lead ball here. He uses the exact same ammo, and once you swap to your Sniper will do more damage and get more distant shots. Then use your pistol for close range, which is pretty cool. And his passive is every third shot, and it does increase damage. That's pretty much the simplest way I can explain it. Let's kill this little guy here. There's another KO. Can we kill more? I think we can. Let's use this Temporal Distortion. Use that L. We need to get out of here. Increase our movement speed. Let's get out. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to try to snipe any enemies. There's one there. There's one there. We tagged him. One more. I can't get the headshot. I can't get the headshot. Oh my god, that was so close. I went to full focus mode trying to kill that guy. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. I need to need one crit shot. Oh my gosh, he's so low. There we go, another KO. We're going crazy, boys, this game. Level 3. We better start living up stuff and upgrading lightning turrets. There we go. Fully upgraded lightning turret. And let's go into... We went to the taunt. Oh my god. That's how you know you're a noob. <laughs> Let's upgrade our L and make it invisible. I like that. And also increase zoom or recall. Recall is better. So I'm able to just keep landing constant shots. Are we lagging this game? We are not lagging. This is the first game I'm actually not lagging. That is surprising. I'm happy, boys. I'm happy. Oh, what the hell? We didn't shoot then. Oh, we got knocked up by that wraith. Let's get this shard here. So we can keep using them for upgrades because they're very useful, boys. Trust me. They help you control the map and destroy your enemies. There we go. Come on, one more. There we go. KO, boys. Level 4. Let's do another upgrade. Go behind here. Let's do it. Um, air effect of our temporal distortion is huge, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Let's kill this elite bot. Shane Arox did some damage on it and destroyed it. Where are the enemies? Let's go ham, boys. We've got a level of advantage, I think. Yeah, we do. On some of the enemies. Or even all of them. Let's put an L here. You can put three L's at a time. So that's maybe the best part. And you can use them as vision or wards for the map. Wards meaning pretty much like a vision technique from other MOBAs. As you'll notice when I play Paragon or something. Land shots, boys. Oh my god. I don't like this sensitivity. I will change it later on in another game. But my god, that sensitivity is actually annoying me. This is our first and second game in the actual full release state. 
So I'm super excited. I'm having so much fun. The adrenaline rush is perfect. And this game is bloody amazing. Let's kill this guy. Temporal distortion. Get this wraith away from us. Do some damage. Swap to our sniper. Do more damage. One more shot. No. Okay, our teammate killed it. It's all cool. It's all cool. I thought he was going to get away. Because he was trying to jump up from that ledge. There we go. One more. Oh, we're reloading. Reloading. Put the L down. He's invisible. I missed him. I missed him. Where'd he go? I've actually lost him. Completely lost him. Let's kill this person here instead. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Heal us. Heal us. We have a support character here. No, I don't think he's going to heal us. But it's all cool. We're taking a bit of damage from AUE abilities. We get away from that. We're going to try to snipe enemies from the back line. There we go. Do some crit damage. Let's get this massive shard again. So you keep getting shards. You're able to upgrade lightning turrets and control the map. We need to get away from this. Get away. Get away before he knocks us up. Yeah, we, not, we dodged it. We dodged it. He's in our distortion ability. Let's kill this elite bot. Is he in that corner there? I think he is. I'm not 100% sure. But we shall see very soon. Put an L there. Let's kill this guy here. Can we kill him? I don't even know if it's possible. But we shall see. Okay, we're going to take a crap load of damage right now. Let's get put a distortion. Can we slow this guy down enough to kill him? I don't think we can. Let's get out of here. We need to get out. We need to get out. We need to get out. Come on, boys. Can we do it? Let's upgrade this. Use it as a way to bait him and hopefully do some damage on him. Then come back here and then snipe him. Oh, no, no, no. This is actually how this is. Distortion. Get out of here. Quick, 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 boys. Let's just walk across this guy and hopefully he doesn't kill us. There we go, boys. Perfect for us. We also got a thrall camp. Our thrall camp. So that's pretty cool. Good work, team members. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Now, when you capture Thrall Camps, you can use that as a way to put pressure on the lanes, or in this case, one lane, and hopefully push to the enemy sentry, and my game just crashed. Uh, or the Elgato Game Capture Card. Give me a second, boys. You might see a black screen, or some type of thing, until we get this fixed. Give me a second. So we're back, guys, and let's try and level up again, since we've got level 5 abilities, and also this. It's pretty much our passive. We're going to increase the mark. And pretty much now, every time we do increase damage, we'll be on the second shot of that enemy that we've tagged or marked. So that's pretty cool. And I'm sorry about that. The Ilgada game coverage card has been doing that all day, surprisingly. I don't know why, but it's actually getting very irritating for me. Since I try to play, have fun, be excited, be positive. But that, but that thing is actually so annoying when that glitch happens and it actually stops my recording. But it's all cool, boys. It's all cool. We got this. We're going to still win this, boys. They ain't going to stop us. They ain't going to stop us. We also got a level 5 ability, which is our ultimate. And it's like pretty much a devastating blast from Paragon. But in this case, it's just him using his sniper and it just releases amazing amounts of damage. Can we kill any of them? There we go. Yes, yes. No, uh, we missed the second shot. If we'd done that tag shot on it with our passive, we'd be mint. Let's kill this guy. He's tagged. Yes, yes. One crit shot. There we go, boys. Crit headshot. Let's taunt here. Disrespects high boys. That's how we do it, boys. I'm loving this connection. It's the best thing ever. How low is she? She's not that low, but she'll be low now. Let's use this. Oh, we didn't we miss that? Oh, we missed that so bad. And then Wraith just came from the side and destroyed us. He did 715 damage, and I had no clue that he actually did that. Oh, it's because of the crossblade. Okay, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. That's a distance shot. I thought I was just getting shot from the front. But I maybe got hit from the side by him, and then he just went full on in and destroyed me but it's all cool right now we have six kills one death five assists 10 minion kills and 2500 shards and score of 17 so that's pretty good right now nothing amazing we're still losing since our century is getting abused but hopefully we can change the game and win that is the goal for us and it's always been the goal from the very start so well, what we need to try and do is actually control the map with our elves and our shards hopefully this works out where the enemies down there. The thrall's going ham on that enemy hero. Crit shot. Or oh, just destroyed his shield. Let's upgrade up that lightning turret. Let's get back here and help the thrall push. There's enemy wraith here. He destroyed the thrall, but it's all cool. Can we destroy this archer? No, wraith is pushing in. Wraith is pushing in. Can we? We need to land crit shots on him. Let's help our team out. Use that distortion. 
And a lightning turret is doing some damage on him. This is pretty good. There we go. KO on the Wraith. We're getting shot from the side. Someone's trying to chase us and kill us. We need to try and kill him instead. We need to put the L. Come on. No, we're dead. We're dead. The strafe, strafe, strafe. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Just so much damage actually came out of that hero. 1,527 damage. He destroyed me. Like, took out my shield. Took out my health from full to zero so quickly. That airstrike, I think that's his ultimate. That's quite a bit of damage. So cool. We're still in this. We're carrying at the moment. We're doing the best from both teams. Hopefully, we can try our best to destroy them. And at least do some damage on their sin. Because there's only around 16 minutes left. And as it gets closer and closer to the end game, we need to do a bit of damage or more damage than they have done to our sentry. That is the goal, or just destroy all the sentries. Perfect. Either way. There we go. Crit. There we go. He's dead. We got assist on that. Can we kill this guy here? Oh, we, we can land an ultimate maybe. There we go. Ultimate. Doing some damage. Let's put the L there. We're taking so much AOE damage. No, boys, we're stuck. We're stuck. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong... Oh, no. No, no, no. Minion blocked. Oh, my God. Okay. That was my bad. I, I was trying to get into the entrance of that side building, but then I actually went the other way and got stuck between the wall. But it's so cool. It's so cool. Let's level up to, since we got level 6 not long ago. I'm going to increase the cast distance for our distortion ability. Since if we can land a good distortion, we can actually win team fights pretty quickly. Or win any fights in general. Since we can slow them down, land our shots at basic attacks. Then also team members can do the exact same thing. Landing their abilities and ultimates. And the distortion ability. And if we have any trouble, we can use the movement speed to get out of there. Our team is pretty low. Let's kill the guys up here. There we go, some damage. They'll be scared, they'll be scared. Crit shots. Oh my god, look at their health. And they're so low. She's trying to kill me. She could actually do it though. She's doing so much damage. Put the L there. Oh, not this again, not this again. Distortion. Let's get out of here. We need the move speed. Can we kill this guy? I don't even know if we can. There, we, we actually got it. We destroy him. That deserves this. Disrespect, boys. Oh my god. He has to respect our play just then. That was so perfect. If I didn't land that last shot, or all the four shots that I shot when he's in the distortion ability, I've actually lost that trade and would have destroyed me. Because our perfect timing, we did pretty well. Come on, let me shoot you. Oh my god. We have to upgrade the lightning turret. Come on, come on. Can we upgrade it? Can we? Oh, we need one more upgrade, but it's okay. At least he's going to start doing something. Oh, she's dead. Yes, boys. <laughs> that is crazy good. The lightning turret did assist me quite a lot just then. Can we put an L there? Yes, we can. It's pretty much just a way to stop enemies from being up there. Because they might get terrified when they take initial damage from that. We need back off. Let's upgrade the lightning turret once again. There we go. We're level 8 now. Are we getting the Thrall Camp? We're getting the Thrall Camp that's in the middle map. That has two Thralls at once. So if we can capture this, we can use that to our advantage and push into their sentry really quickly. Are we taking so much damage? Put that there. Let's help our Shane and Aerox to do this Thrall Camp. I want them to tank the damage. That's the point. That's why I'm so close to them. Oh, we got destroyed. The enemy Wraith just came out of nowhere. Oh my god, boys. This could be very bad. They're capturing the Al Thrall camp. I don't know if he has any clue that he's actually doing it. Is he going to do it? He's doing it. He's doing it. Come on, Shane and Aerox. Get in there. Get in there. Are you serious? Was that our team member? I'm really confused right now. I'm really confused. That could be an Al team member, maybe. We shall see when once we get on the map. Yeah, that's our thrall camps. Oh, thank God, man. I was terrified for a second. What we're trying to do now is just collect shards and hopefully collect enough shards to upgrade the lightning turrets and the upgrades and structures that we got around the middle of the map 
so you can have more of an influence on the game. But right now, our team is trying to push, and they're very low, so I'm guessing the enemy team will be able to abuse that factor and destroy us. I'm going to try to help my team out, and can we, oh, we missed that shot, we missed it. Wraith is here. He landed, he landed the crossblade. We need to back off from that. Airstrike's coming in from the other guy, but we dodged that. We're all the enemies. Let's land a distortion there. And let's kill the person up here. In that high position. Oh, she was marked, but I just had to land another shot to activate the bonus damage. But I missed it. So cool. There we go. Come on, boys. We need to push. If we don't push, we will end up losing. I'm taking a bit of damage. We're taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, boys. Distortion. Distortion. Get out of there, team. Get out of there. Where's my other team member? She's at the Thrall camp, okay. Or he. We're going to take a lot of damage right now. Oh my god, boys. We actually got, we actually survived. I don't know how. We need to get up here. We need to activate this lead bot. We need some pressure before they push our sentry. Should I stand around here and just snipe? I think we should because we have a supply station. We can do a bit of damage and also not die. Which is a very good factor. Oh, look at that crit, boys. Let's activate our ultimate. Can we kill this guy? Oh, KO, boys. Oh, my God. That splash damage with the ultimate was perfect. We got two kills out of the ultimate. Are you serious, guys? That is insane. Can we kill this guy right here? I think we can. Distortion here. So they can't run out. Or jump out. There we go. That's our third kill. Where's the other guy? There's another guy here. Oh, that is... Four kills just then. The last guy that we killed was an assist or help killed. But it's all cool. It's all cool. That was a pretty insane moment. Just from that one distortion and that one ultimate, we changed the game. Maybe we can push the enemy structures now and destroy this century. So it becomes a fair game. But that's still questionable. We're getting altered. We're getting altered. We can use that distortion to slow him down. Let's get out of that. There we go. That should help that team. And maybe we can kill him. Oh, we need to land that shot. We need to land our shot. Oh, the aim assist onto the actual sentry, lol. But it's all cool. It's all cool. Poke your head out. Poke your head out. Oh, we could die. I don't want to die. Oh, we did. We did. I tried to do something special, but I think it's going to go out badly. There we go, man. Oh, my God. We could actually destroy this structure. If I stayed here and just played safe with my team and just went full ham on the sentry, we could have actually destroyed it. But I don't know about now. Because the enemy team did respawn. There's a chance they could eliminate us all. And it looks like that is happening. We've lost three team members. The centuries are kind of equal 50 to 53 in their favor. They're still winning. Which is very unfortunate. We've got eight minutes. They killed our fourth team member. And this sergeant guy is trying to do some damage on the elite bot. And the many ways they're coming in. He goes into stealth. Can he do anything? What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he going to try and destroy the century? Oh, this guy's got guts. But is it enough? I do not think so. Let's level up since we got level 9 not long ago. And we need to get a slow for our distortion. Increase slow. So now it's got 30% additional slow to it. That is bloody amazing. Good CC. Solid CC for a teamfight. Let's not lag. There we go. Let's kill these guys before they end up doing too much. Oh, they destroyed it. Okay. There he is. I was wondering where he went. That's so cool. Distortion. Put that there. Let's reload. If we can kill him, then perfect. Take the pistol shot. Are you... S yes, there we go, there we go. We got it. Get the... I built... Oh my god. I got minion blocked once again. Even with the distortion ability activated, I tried to slow them down and get out of it with the movement speed increase that I gained, but it did not work for us. This game is getting really intense. It's like the last six minutes or around seven minutes left we got. And oh my god, boys. If we can win this, that'll be perfect. Our sentry is taking some damage. We could lose. I'm not 100% sure, but it's leaning towards a lose since now it's on 47, 46. It's, getting, it's decreasing slowly, but... Hoping we can change that factor and destroy them. Come on, team members. We can do this. 
I'm spawning very soon. Come on, guys. We can't lose this. But my Queen's is actually a fun hero to play. Just wish we can pull it up and work as a team together. Put the distortion there. Let's kill it. There we go. Come on. Assist. There's someone else out there. We have to go around here. Can't destroy him there. Now let's kill. We've lost. We've lost. There's some guy in the high point shooting. There we go. Destroyed. But that final taunt just out of pity for our defeats, boys. We've lost. I think this is one of my first losses. But it's all cool. It's one of my first games as well. So doesn't matter to me, boys. We tried. We tried our best. And Marquise is an amazing hero to play. Do not think he's a bad hero by this gameplay since I try my best to play him. And it was like my first couple of times actually testing him out from beta and now into the full release of the game. Nothing changed, but I didn't have the right sensitivity for my sniper. But it's all cool, man. We tried our best. We achieved some goals. And I'll show you my score, my stats that we got and how the team was going. But let's see it with the stats. Skip this, skip that. I don't really care right now. We only care about the stats. We got 37 score, 14 kills. That's solid. The highest kills in the game. Also the highest score. Then 6 deaths being the least deaths on my team. Then 9 assists, which is being the highest assist on my team. Along with 5,122 shards and 13 minion kills. I stopped doing the minion kills and we just went for kills after that on the enemy heroes. And we did achieve that goal. We got level 10. There was only three players that got level 10. The enemy team was pretty solid. Their comp was pretty good due to the reason they had this character here, which is acting like the frontline or tank. In our case, we had nothing like that except for Shane and Aerox. But there's only so much you can do as a team. But it is unfortunate. But the hero itself, Marquise, is an amazing hero, so give it a try. So make sure you enjoy this video, show your support, smash on that blue like button. Let's try to get 20 likes on this video. And if you guys want to see more Battleborn gaming content on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We'll be back very soon. Hey, dads, boys, because there's nothing yet. Marquise, the sniper god. <laughs>